You know, I'm always in that high spot with you. Oh, my gosh. Can you hear me? Thank you. You know, I was sitting there in that seat, and I was just going through everything that you were sharing. And at some point, I went into this appreciation mode. And I couldn't help but to cry these tears of joy. Because I was so happy that it took me to a place where I remember praying and asking for help as a child. Asking, who am I? What what am I? Where do I come from? This doesn't feel right being here. So are you saying to us that right from an early age, you could feel when the calibration was off? Yes. Your guidance system was active even at that early age. You could I remember feel that the three. calibration. Yeah. I can remember that. And I was saying, thank you so much. And at that time, I only knew the name of God because that's what I was taught. And I knew I was different, but I was being shot down with every belief. I was shot down as a child to just expand and enjoy life. And I remember those times. I never even got sick when I was little. Do you know, this may surprise you, but each one of you coming in to this human species, you knew coming in, it was going to be a rough start. No matter what you were born into you all knew that that beginning was going to be you being new and knowing what you know in a sea of others who had forgotten and you knew that there was going to be a strong pulling toward the ways of the humans and away from the power of source you all knew that you see and some of you remembered the feeling so strong and were determined to get back to it and others just sort of gave in until it became absurd enough that you can't stand it and then you come looking for it I remember that I do and as I take my experience and bring it to this moment right now I can see where all of you helped me to get in alignment at that time oh it never stops never stops but that's not the point that's true of everyone the point is that you were open enough to recognize it and that's unusual it happened and, and I experienced those things by default and I didn't understand and until they trained me into thinking these things and I kept saying well I never thought about that then why am I having such a problem now it just flowed it flowed and I just I you know why it. because best question ever did you get her question so when she was little there were maniacs all around her but they didn't bother her then and now there are maniacs all around her and they are bothering her more so the question is why didn't they bother me then and why do they bother me now and the answer is because you were very well calibrated as you came in and then it dissipated a little more and that's why we're talking about calibrating now through meditation through segment intending in other words it's like being reborn reorienting yourself to your natural vibration so that just like it didn't bother you then it doesn't bother you now and the results of that will be you'll care less about what others think and people will be offering an opinion to you about something that formerly has mattered to you and you will understand it you will understand that it's where they're coming from but it has no reflection on you I so much enjoy this word that you picked calibration yeah. I mean I was in this seat with the word satisfaction and I experienced the satisfaction and then I got into the word fine tuning and then you said no tune but the calibration oh my gosh that word right there what's so nice about that is that calibration it's like if you sing in a quartet you can feel your harmony when it's on and when it's off Esther is a really good harmonizer she sang in quartets and trios and she got so good at harmonizing that if she was singing with someone that was off she could harmonize with their offness and then it still sounded good and that's what a lot of humans do you calibrate with the offness of those around you so that you can stand it 
but the more you connect to who you really are the more your true light is what you've got to calibrate to and others don't take it very well but when it's not bothering you it'll stop bothering them if you're bothered by everything that bothers everybody then everybody's bothered all the time but after a while if you're not bothered by it and they notice you're not bothered by it after a while they get tired of being bothered by something that you're not bothered about because the whole reason that they wanted to bother you to the point that you were bothered about it was to control you and when you're not bothered by what they're bothered about then you're free yes what this calibration means to me is I you're right I don't want to be tuned to anything else and calibrate I don't want the things around me to calibrate me because first of all I'm already rebellious are you saying to us that you want to set the tone and you want things to acquiesce to you yes. that is deliberate creation that's deliberate creation that's what's happening all the time it doesn't matter what happened that causes you to set a tone law of attraction will support it and, and that's what I'm here today for to get mastery in my vibration more consistently so you've just given us a favorite word you like calibrate we like mastery because that's doing it on purpose it's focusing on it more it's being more aware more of the time it's doing something about it every time it's using the power of focus in a meaningful way and I want to I want to get a better understanding with that power of focus because it can All right, so it. stop just for a moment focus calibrate focus calibrate focus calibrate calibrate feel calibrate feel calibrate feel focus feel focus feel calibrate focus feel calibrate focus feel focus feel focus feel calibrate that's how that's how it's not about the subject it's about the way I feel because you can use a subject like God or a subject like money and it activates a whole bunch of different feelings around a room because different people feel different ways around it when you identify what bliss feels like and what expansion feels like and what love feels like and what appreciation feels like just calibrate to that so the words that we've used before calibrate they go together in a little trio identify which means notice it isolate it which means focus on it calibrate which means get really good at focus on it identify isolate calibrate then you're home free on everything so it's really easy to have somebody in your life that has a tendency to identify it even talk about it even wake up thinking about it even talk to others about it so you've identified it and now you're isolating it and before long you've calibrated to something that you don't even want to calibrate to and then you're mad at them that they are soliciting it from you because it's attraction 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 so if you identify something in another person aren't they going to attract that from you did you hear what we said it's attraction 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 they're attracting from you you're attracting from them so think about words like you hurt my feelings or you yanked my chain you got my goat you pushed my button and we say you want your goat to be ungettable you want your chain to be unyankable you want your buttons to be unpushable because you've calibrated to who you really are when you calibrate to who you really are you don't have a goat to be gotten so even though they want to get your goat they can't get it they can't get it they can't yank your chain they can't push your button because you've calibrated to something else and now you're not having a tug of war there's no battle you're in sync with pure positive energy and everything wanted is coming to you and they're doing whatever they're doing but it doesn't have anything to do with you you could be in the same room with someone who has been getting your goat <laughs> yanking your chain pushing your buttons hurting your feelings and it no longer happening because you've calibrated to who you really are instead of calibrating to those conditions that's why we call it mastery you have to have the experience feel what it feels like decide whether you want that again decide what you're gonna do about it get out ahead of it once it happens you can't fix it once they get your goat your goat is got 
for this moment in other words you got to start a new day or a new segment or a new moment you got to recalibrate to who you really are and then do it again did you see the movie groundhog day <laughs> esther and jerry turned it on in the middle and they didn't know what was happening at first it was, didn't make any sense to them at all groundhog day a movie did you see it did you not see it it's a movie where every day you started the same day over again but you had new information because of what you'd lived before so the things that went wrong have a conversation with someone and they don't like what you say so the next day you don't say that have a conversation with someone and they really like it so the next day you say it even more it was a sort of amplification of the way the law of attraction really does work and so every day you have life experiences where you have emotional responses to them where you can identify which ones feel good and which ones don't and then you can just gently guide yourself more and more to thoughts and feelings and exposure to life experience that feels better and better and better and better and better and better, and better. until you reach the place that you're so well calibrated with well-being that everywhere you go well-being must show itself to you even if you are in a pit that is 99% not well-being you'll have maybe the only well-being experience in it and you won't even notice the other that really could happen that way we like it better when you just get so good at it that your life just reflects it all around you and others notice you I'm going where she's going because everywhere she goes feels good can I give you an example of something yeah we're out of time here so let's wrap this up okay I don't want to use anybody as my focal point I don't we don't want you to but I do remember something that I've kind of kept with me you, you talked about this pillow I got that pillow up in the, that chair over there right and that's a feeling that I can tap into that when I feel how good it feels to hold that pillow and how it makes me feel so warm and There's fuzzy. nothing wrong with having things that represent well-being. We're not guiding you away from anything. We just want you to understand how it works. And I want to keep that same thing. And I want to find more things to find more well-being with. That's yeah. what it is. So yeah. that I can allow more of those abundant things to come into my life. Because I don't how we seem like I have the door once open. Once you get in the groove of this, once you get the hang of this, once you understand the law of it, you can't keep the well-being away. Once the floodgates open, they just keep coming. But that doesn't mean that there is not constant room for recalibration on lots of things. Because you care about lots of things. Life is fascinating. It's fascinating. All of the subjects and all of the people and all of the combinations. It's fascinating. You are scientists that are constantly recalculating your formulas and coming up with new laws of the universe and new physics and new ways of approaching all things. And your universe understands it really well. And here you are out on the leading edge wanting to understand it for your own personal adaptation. The universe has such a handle on it that your earth spins in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets. You don't have to worry about the physics of that. That's all been taken care of by thoughts that have come before. But that doesn't mean that you should stop thinking just because the sun comes up every morning. Well, the sun came up, nothing for me to do today. There's so much more that you want to do. So we've enjoyed this interaction. More than words can explain to you, but maybe you're getting some of the feeling of it. When you tune in to who you really are and you translate the feeling the vibrational frequency of your inner being back into your physical consciousness the emotions feel like love and stability and clarity and elation and well-being we know for sure that you are in a different vibrational place than you were when we began and we know for sure that your point of attraction has shifted and that the evidence of that will be all around you we know that you've intellectually understood this but we ask you not to try to remember it because this isn't an exercise in memory this is an exercise in having calibrated there so it will be easier to do it again there's no homework and there's nothing to fuss about with this life experience is going to help you to the next and the next and the next you're doing extremely well and we are eager about what is coming next for you because what comes next for you comes next for us as well there is great love here for you and for now we are complete if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next